Hello Prestors, welcome back to another video and for this video I am going to discuss about TCS recruitment process since TCS is in the air right now and once you are done with the registration let's move forward to the second step which is the recruitment process. So we are going to discuss everything about the eligibility criteria, the syllabus, the test pattern, the interview section and so on and so forth. So let's not skip on anything unimportant and let's move towards the video now. All right. But before that, let me just let you know that if you are still not connected with us on social media handles, you are missing out on a lot, lot of updates and opportunities for your placements this season. And since the season is going to end, it's high time that you start grabbing all the opportunities. So make sure that you're connected with us on our social media handles, just Instagram, WhatsApp, Discord, LinkedIn and Telegram. The links of the same will be there in the description box. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel because you're watching us on YouTube and we keep posting everything uh, important the such as resources um we come live for the uh, latest updates as well so make sure that you subscribe to our youtube channel and click the notification bell as well all right so let's move forward to the video now the first things first let's get sorted in our head what are the roles that tcs is offering to the freshers and to the masters student there are three particular roles that tcs has aimed for the first is the tcs ninja role which is the basic role uh, for the freshers so the undergraduates start off with 3.3 LPA and the postgraduate students, the master's students, they start off with 3.5 LPA. All right. So that's the TCS Ninja role, which is the most basic, most um, like the low most uh, strata of the hiring. All right. Next, we move towards the TCS Digital role. All right. So this is a little more technical than the Ninja role. All right. And they have also upgraded the salary over here. So it's a uh, 7 LPA for the undergraduates and 7.3 LPA for the postgraduate students, right? So let's say the difference between Ninja and Digital will be that you're going to get more difficult questions. You're going to get the advanced section. So you have to perform great up like even more than your optimum capacity for the digital role in the advanced section. All right. That's the digital role for you. Now, so what happens is, um, let's say 20% of the students get selected in this and only 10% get selected in this particular role. However, the TCS prime role that has been introduced, it is nothing more than the TCS innovator role, all right? And it's even higher in difficulty and even higher in the strata-based um, description if we talk about the roles that TCS is offering, all right? And that's TCS prime for you. So it's for the premium member, the premium strata of the uh, new candidates. All right, so undergraduates are going to get 9 LPA and the postgraduates will have an 11.5 LPA uh, package. All right, so TCS Prime is the one which um, only very few people, let's say the top 2 to 5% of the students get hired for this particular role. You have to be absolutely mind-blowing in the coding section, absolutely mind-blowing in the aptitude and a great persona in the interview section as well. And only then and then will you be selected for the TCS Prime role. All right. So those are the three roles. I know you are going to aim for the TCS Prime, but let's start picking up from the bottom. Let's start off with Ninja, then Digital, then Prime, and then let's see if we ace all of the three roles. All right, moving forward to the registration process. So I hope you've already registered, but if you haven't already, these are a few uh, steps that you have to keep in mind when you start registering for TCS. So students have to visit this particular link, which is right over here. Click on register now, choose a category as IT, the IT industry. All right, fill up the details to get a reference ID. This reference ID is very important. So you have to keep it handy with you whenever you're sitting for TCS. All right, and proceed to complete the application form. If you want a more detailed re uh, registration process, we have a complete video on the same. So you have to get registered yourself on TCS Next Step Portal, which is a very rigid and a very uh, timid process. So you have to follow each step very carefully because what happens is 10 to 20% of the students fail to get their hall tickets because they fill in misinformation. So if you're putting any misinformation or you misfill the form with wrong information, your hall tickets will stand cancelled. All right, so registration process is most important. Watch the video that we have for you, follow all of the steps and then register yourself for TCS drives. All right, moving forward, so that's the registration process for you. Watch the complete video, which will be linked somewhere in the description box. All right, 
Moving forward, eligibility criteria. So this is where you have to assess whether or not you are eligible for this particular drive. All right. So we start off with the streams. So how many streams do they allow? They are allowing B Tech, B E, M Tech, M E, M C A, M S C, or M S. All right. So masters and bachelors both are there, but it, B C A is not there. So anyone who's going to ask if B C A is eligible or not, they are not. All right, and all of these are for 2024 batch. I hope I don't have to reiterate on that. It's only for 2024. So if you belong to 2023, 22, 21, 25, you are not eligible. I'm really sorry for that, but you will have to look for more opportunities and more updates. You can again connect with us on our social media handles. The links will be there in the description box. All right, um, course type. So only full time courses will be considered if you have a, a part time course your a particular degree will not be considered eligible all right minimum 60 percent or six cgpa throughout academics be it your 10th 12th or your highest qualification you will have to have 60 percent or more no backlogs or areas allowed so if you have any backlog try to clear all of them out before you start off uh, with the registration process all right age limit a student should be of 18 to 28 years of age so whenever you're filling in the form about your uh, date of birth maybe your um, class 10 class 12 and your highest academic uh, qualification make sure you put in the uh, years very carefully all right next is work experience so experience of up to two years are eligible only for the master's student if you're a bachelor student a pressure is heartily welcome you don't need to have any work experience finally a gap or a gap or a break in education not more than 24 months that is two years you can have a gap of two years and not more than that all right so those are the eligibility criteria if you need to know more you can come on to tcs or you can come on to prepinsa.com on the tcs dashboard and you can check out all of the eligibility criteria right stated over there all right moving forward let's move forward with the assessment rounds and the actual recruitment process what are the rounds that you will have to face uh, how how are you going to score each of the rounds and clear each of the rounds with proper preparation all right so we are going to have three rounds specifically first is the online assessment which is a general um, assessment exam like every other company then you have the technical interview and finally you have the hr interview all right so all of the three the recruitment process is quite simple but you need to understand that there's a difference when it comes to the questions that are being put out to you all right and the pattern as well so let's talk about the pattern here guys um, so the first round is the written assessment round as we've discussed you're going to have two sections part a and part b part a is going to be your foundation section and part b is going to be your advanced section now if you are aiming for prime or a digital role this advanced section is very important for you right you cannot miss this advanced section you cannot go wrong in this advanced section all right so let's talk about the uh, foundation section first there's going to be three sections for you, numerical ability, reasoning ability and verbal ability. If you are going for on campus exam, guys, you need to understand this clearly, right? There are going to be only three sections in the first um, subsection, all right? And you're going to have only three sections for the on campus exam. However, if you are sitting for an off campus exam, if TCS comes as an off campus drive, and you have you're sitting for that particular drive you will also have the fourth section which is known as the trade section and you're just going to have one question out of it for just one minute or 30 seconds not more than that all right so three sections for on-campus exam for the foundation round and four sections for the off-campus exam for the foundation round all right i hope i'm clear on that let's quickly take a look at the question numbers so 20, 20 and 25. So 20 questions for numerical ability, 20 for reasoning ability and 25 for verbal. All right. The time limit is 25 minutes for each. So we have not calculated the trade section as of now in the total time limit that we've mentioned over here because we're talking about the on campus right now. But off campus includes just one extra minute and one extra question. All right. That's the foundation section for you. The advanced section that we have is advanced quantitative ability advanced reasoning ability and advanced coding all right so the number of questions that you have is 10 10 and 2 so you have only two questions for coding the first question is going to be basic coding and the second is going to be advanced coding if you are aiming for the prime or digital role you need to have both the questions correct all right 
and if we're aiming for just a ninja role or a digital role one question or one and a half question will be enough for you all right the time limit goes as this 20 minutes 15 minutes and 55 minutes all right um yeah so that's the total time limit that you have so um, this is the table advanced section foundation section three sections for the foundation and three sections for the advanced role we are going to see a more deeper uh, deep div, uh, dive uh, into the you know individual sections as well so we are going to talk about this right away but before that if you want to take a screenshot of this keep it handy you are most welcome but if you want to have a more um, in depth knowledge about it you can come on to prepensa.com and we have the entire paper pattern over here along with extra mocks for you to practice extra practice questions as you can see so you can do that from here as well the links of the same will be there in the description box you can take a look there all right okay let's move forward with the deeper uh, breakdown of each of the sections all right starting off with the numerical ability section so the first section that we have is for 25 minutes the number of questions that you're going to get is 20 questions and the cutoff is 11 to 12 questions it can be 13 to 14 questions if, if they want to make it more difficult all right so if you're aiming for digital or prime role they might bring it up to 13 or 14 questions as your uh, cutoff okay so that's that Okay, number of the topics that we have over here is number system, divisibility, numbers and decimal fractions, mensuration, percentages. So all of the topics that generally comes for any numerical ability section. However, some of these topics are very important, such as percentages, allegations and mixtures, speed time and distance. We've seen multiple questions out of these. So if you want to have an experience of the previous year questions, you can come on to Prime and check out our TCS specific course and a quantitative aptitude course as well. So we have solved TCS previous questions in these courses for you. And if you wish to know what uh, type of questions does TCS provide in the examination, you can definitely come here, check them out and have a real time experience. All right. Also elementary statistics and DI is very important. They focus a lot on DI as well. So we have a lot of graphs and charts going on uh, during the numerical ability section. All right. These are a few important topics that they uh, give questions out of however all of these topics are very important and you should be practicing uh, questions from all of these topics present before you all right if you want again you can take a screenshot of the same otherwise we have all the details mentioned on our prime dashboard as well as on our preference.com dashboard as well all right moving forward with your verbal ability section comparatively the verbal ability section is quite easier than the numerical ability and the reasoning ability because you don't have a lot of big questions However, they focus a lot on a paragraph ordering. I would say yes. Reading comprehension. Again, we've missed on reading comprehension from here, but reading comprehension, which is RC, is again very important. TCS loves to give five to seven questions out of reading comprehension in each of these slots. All right. And then we also have meanings and idioms and phrases. TCS has recently fallen in love with idioms and phrases. I don't know why, but they have. So you can also practice idioms and phrases from here itself. All right. So yes, that sentence completion, error identification as well. Again, that is another important topic, error identification, because what they do is it sums up the entire verbal section in just one question type. All right. So that's verbal ability for you. Again, if you want to experience more number of questions, if you want to know and understand the pattern of the previous year questions, you can come and take a look at this verbal course on Prime and TCS specific course as well. All right, so everything is summed up right over here for you. Moving forward with the reasoning ability section, that is the third section of the foundation uh, subsection. All right, so again, what do we have over here? We have word pattern, letter series, number series, seating arrangement, blood relations, directional sense, and so on and so forth. Again, all of these topics are highly important. You should be practicing questions from each of them. However, if you ask me which are the... Um, Top most important topics, I would say that they love word pattern. They love directional sense as well. A logical Venn diagram is again their favorite type of topic. Syllogism is important and visual reasoning. They love to give visual reasoning. So they have multiple images and you have to solve them. All right. That is what they love. So logical reasoning. Again, we have a particular specific course uh, dedicated to logical reasoning, TCS and QT as well, and visual reasoning course as well. So you can also take a look at the visual reasoning part as well. If you want to prepare to the top 
uh, for TCS and QT or TCS uh, on the whole. All right. Okay. Moving forward, so that was all about the foundational section. Let's move towards the aptitude advanced section. All right, which is part B of the recruitment process. So part B starts off with HCF and LCM, geometry, uh, ages, allegations and mixtures. Again, it's the same topics that are mostly found in the uh, normal section, in the foundation section. However, the level of difficulty of the questions increases. And this particular section, the advanced section is very important for your prime and digital role. So make sure that you clear out this role with optimum scores. All right. So again, let's say clocks and calendars is important. Allegation mixtures is important. Time, speed and distance is important. Uh, DI over here, just tabular, pie charts, all of these are again important. Um, again, we also have probability, which is important and permutation and combination. So these, these are some of the uh, most important question, uh, topics. However, practice questions from all of these topics. Again, if you want, you can take a look from here. Uh, you can come on to TCS for more mocks and you can also come on to preppingstuffprime.com. Scroll down on the aptitude section, which is a logical reasoning section or the quantitative aptitude section. Or you can also come down onto the TCS NQT section and get all your questions sorted. Right. So we have divided them into advanced and foundation. So the difficulty level of each is going to vary uh, for the advanced and the foundation section, even in our course as well. So you can go take a look and get a real time experience, like I said before. All right. So uh, the breakdown of the number of questions is 10 questions. You're going to get 20 minutes and seven to eight questions is the cutoff. Like I said, the cutoff is going to be very marginal because it's the advanced section. All right. Okay. Moving forward, uh, we have the advanced reasoning section. All right. So again, the topics are going to be very similar. All right. However, the difficulty level of the questions is going to increase. Right. So that's the advanced section. Uh, for the foundation section, maybe a fresher can be uh, can score 80 out of 80. But in the advanced section, the same candidate is going to score 40 out of it. 50 percent decrease in these scores. So make sure that you're practicing properly for the advanced section if you want to aim for digital or prime goal, which is 7 LP and above and 9 LP and above. All right. So yes, again, you can take a look at the logical reasoning um, course that we have for you and practice the advanced reasoning section. Okay. Moving forward to the king of the process, advanced coding section. All right. So we have two questions, question one and question two. Question one is more towards the basic part. All right, so we talk about basic working with numbers, looping, functions, recursions, arrays, algorithms, number series, and so on and so forth. However, the advanced section has more number of advanced topics, which we'll be discussing. So uh, from our prime, how is our prime going to help you in this? So the intermediate coding and the basic coding section for you, the course for you is going to help you out to clear the uh, basic question section. Uh, that is question number one for the advanced coding round. All right, so you can go and check that out. We'll, we'll dive into the prime world as well. Don't worry. All right, and for the advanced coding section, of, which is the second question, it's going to be a more difficult question. For the prime a profile, you will have to clear both the rounds, both the questions. For digital, you, maybe you can cross just one or one and a half question has to be correct. So that's the cut off. All right. For the advanced section, advanced arrays, advanced matrices, queues, stacks, graphs, DSAs, dynamic programming, greedy programming, and so on and so forth. The topics are right there in front of you. And we have got you covered on our prime. We have the competitive coding and data structures course, which is going to help you out to, uh, to clear the second question or the advanced coding question. All right. So again, we have two questions overall for the advanced coding round and we are going to have 55 minutes. So that's the time limit that we have for the advanced coding section. All right. I hope that's clear to you on how we are going to help you out. Uh, that was all about the assessment round. So we have two rounds or uh, two sections, advanced and foundation. Foundation has three rounds and um, the uh, advanced round, advanced section also has three subsections. All right. So we've discussed about those. If you want more detailed information, you can come on to prepensa.com. You can move towards here on the recruitment process uh, page and you have all of the information stated right there for you. 
all right you can go check a look at this the links of all of these pages will be there in the description box all right you can come over here and also practice each um topics from here itself that aptitude question has a different uh, mocks verbal questions has different mocks logical has different mocks and so on and so forth so we also have advanced logical questions advanced aptitude question advanced coding questions as well all right all in all for you guys all in all for you okay moving forward that was all about the assessment round once the assessment round is clear you are going to move towards the interview round now interview rounds we have two rounds on the same call itself we have technical interview and we have hr or managerial interview all right so technical interview deep dives into your projects your resume your technical skills your puzzles your group dis uh, your, your puzzles not group discussion group discussion comes in the hr round if they wish to all right so also we covered you for that as well so once you move towards the interview preparation round we have a tcs specific interview preparation round for you right over here as you can see tcs interview preparation or you can move down and take a look at um, interview plus so we have hr prep for you we have puzzles for you which the tcs interviewers are very keen on asking puzzles we have guess estimates in case they ask you we also have a resume course for you so that the first step of resume shortlisting is sorted for you and we also have interview experiences from the students who have passed or who have cleared the interview rounds right so that that is how you are going to prepare for the technical interview and for the hr and managerial interview as you can see we have tcs interview preparation we have tcs service based interview experiences and then we also have hr prep and technical prep for you if you want to prepare for the technical rounds we have a coding brush up section and ca subject section as well which talks about computer networks sql sdlc dbms os and so on and so forth all right so that is yes that is what you are going to get that's the complete recruitment process for you starting off with the registrations the eligibility criteria the online assessment and the interviews all right so if you want more such updates and if you want to know everything and more to get placed this hiring season make sure that you're connected with us on wherever you can on instagram whatsapp discord linkedin telegram if you wish you can also connect with me personally on my linkedin the link of the same will be there in the description box below all right so let's connect let's discuss more and let's make our careers a successful career what are we waiting for right also make sure that you're subscribing to our youtube channel because you're watching this video on youtube and we keep dropping epic videos for your resources and for your preparation for the upcoming drive so don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and also click the bell icon so that you get notified whenever we drop a new video for you all right now i know that you know everything about registration and recruitment but how do you prepare so how to prepare for tcs is going to be the next question and we have the answers for you so prep it up prime one subscription all your needs how are we going to help you or we help you with your coding section we help you with the technical section we help you with the aptitude and your interview section as well so 360 degree coverage you get right and we have tcs preparation course specific to tcs which is 200 plus hours and as you can see we have a surprise coming up for you that you can also use the coupon code youtube to get max discount which is y o u t u b e so if you are preparing for um, tcs specifically and if you want to a uh, join our prep and stuff prime family you can use the coupon code youtube and get maximum discounts as you can while preparing for your tcs this hiring season all right so what do we provide you we provide you with 200 plus hours of course aptitude logical verbal coding and interview prep 300 plus topic wise mocks previous year questions and 10 plus full mocks as well to give you real time experience all right and Uh, you can see we, these are a quick snapshots of what the course looks inside it's very cute it's very animated it's very beautiful and gives you a premium feel as well right so you are learning and you're enjoying the uh, learning as well the learning process is enjoyable with prime let me just tell you how cute does this look and how enticing does this look right so that's all for you guys thank you for watching this particular video i hope it's going to help you to prepare for tcs this hiring season and i hope you get placed with whatever role you wish to get placed in tcs thank you so much for watching the video we'll meet you in the next video